Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today we are reviewing this gigantic beast of an electric scooter. This is the high power, high speed, full suspension Wolf King GT, and we're gonna check it out. Let's hit it. The Wolf King GT Pro electric scooter is just so powerful and fast that I've gotta start with what makes this thing tick. That comes down to a pair of 2000 watt motors, one in the front wheel and one in the back, that combine to give well over 4 kilowatts of peak power. Pushing over 62 miles an hour of speed is no joke, and so I want to briefly discuss some safety aspects of these higher power scooters. Now obviously this is not a toy of an electric scooter. This is a very fast, very powerful scooter that can go up to 62 miles an hour or 100 kilometers per hour. In the industry, this is what we call a really fast scooter. And that means you need to be taking safety seriously. Now, when I'm just riding this thing nice and slow in neighborhoods and I'm not really approaching its top speed, I'll wear my typical skateboarding helmet and I'll do it in short sleeves, which is probably not a great idea, but hey, we all make that risk decision ourselves. But when I'm riding this thing faster, I take safety a lot more seriously. This is my Dayanisi Air motorcycle riding jacket. It's got armor all over it, in the back, in the shoulders, in the elbows, and this is what I wear when I'm riding this thing fast because I want to be seriously protected just in case the worst happens. When it comes to a helmet, this is my AGV K5. If it's good enough for a 125 mile an hour electric motorcycle, it's good enough for a 62 mile an hour electric scooter. Now the type of safety gear you use is obviously a personal choice, but for me, I want something good when I'm riding a scooter like this because you're talking about seriously dangerous speeds and it's not something to take lightly. Another thing people often forget about are gloves. These are my Revit gloves. They're perforated leather motorcycle gloves. They're armored in the knuckles and they're designed to take a spill at highway speed. So again, they're good enough for my 125 mile an hour electric motorcycles. They're good enough for a high speed electric scooter. So there you go. I'll wear my typical warm weather e-bike and e-scooter gear when I'm doing just lower speed neighborhood or city riding. And then I gear up for the really fast and crazy stuff. And that's kind of the point here that you don't always have to ride this thing balls to the wall. Yeah, it can go highway speeds, but you can also just use that power for hill climbing, not necessarily its top speed capability. Plus, the absolutely massive 72 volt and 35 amp hour Samsung or LG battery with 2.5 kilowatt hours of capacity is great for long range, even if you're not using it for its high power capacity for the scooter's top speed. You can get over 75 miles of range out of this thing, which could mean charging once a week or less depending how you ride it, Plus, the scooter comes with two chargers, in case you need to charge it up more quickly. I certainly had fun riding into the 50s of miles per hour, though I actually never pushed the 60 plus mile per hour top speed. The scooter had way more room to run, even in the 50s, but I was pretty happy doing those speeds and just enjoying the thrill, without pushing my luck too much further. That said, the scooter feels ultra stable at speed, plus it has that gigantic deck to give you lots of room to place your feet exactly where you want them. The powerful regenerative braking and equally powerful hydraulic disc brakes provide confident stopping power, and you've even got big ol' LED headlights, brake lights, and turn signals to keep you visible and a motorcycle horn to make you heard. So there's a lot of quality components and safety notes here. That suspension and high ride height also feel great, making the scooter that much more confidence inspiring. The 11 inch wheels aren't as small as they look, and in fact are some of the biggest scooter wheels out there making it more comfortable to hit potholes or speed bumps. I did try doing some off-roading at one point, and while the scooter is obviously built for it with the high power, all-wheel drive, high ground clearance, and pro suspension, these street tires are not the right choice. I definitely did some serious sliding around on wet grass, so make sure to get the dirt tires if you want to go off-road. Depending on the type of riding you're doing, switching between rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive might be a benefit as well, and it's nice to have that option that the scooter provides. The beautiful TFT color display even shows you all the ride data, power mode, etc., so you can know what setup you're in at all times without having to guess. Believe it or not, a lot of scooters don't show all that information. Ultimately, the Wolf King GT Pro is not cheap, currently on sale for $3,599, but that's quite fair actually compared to the rest of the high power electric scooter industry, and you obviously get what you pay for with these massive machines. The build quality, super solid folding mechanism, high stability and more are all hallmarks of the Wolf King GT Pro, and they make the scooter what it is, 
a safe and comfortable scooter for blasting up to eye-watering speeds or for just having extra power, range, and comfort beneath you when you're sticking to more reasonable local speeds. It's hard for me to find something to really complain about here. I'd say that perhaps that high price is a little off-putting to some riders, and of course the 115 pounds or so of the scooter make it pretty darn heavy, and this is not a portable scooter by any means. Sure, you can fold it, but lifting the sucker is not going to be fun. As it stands though, the high cost and the high weight are just par for the course when it comes to these ridiculously powerful electric scooters, and so you're probably familiar with that going in if you're already used to this level of scooter. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Wolf King GT electric scooter. I know it's insane, but for a certain type of rider, it's exactly what they're looking for. Alright, if you did enjoy the video, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.